Yeah, thanks, thanks for everyone for joining me. I work on a project uh, called Microcosms. I'm gonna, I've been working on it for a couple years, and um, I'd like to share it with you all. Um, let me just get my timer started. Okay. So I'd like to know how many people here have done um, an edit in their own city? Okay, that's like everybody. Now, I'd like to know if there was a team of people in your city, would you join them and do some editing collaboratively? Yeah, about half, more than half. Okay, that's good to know. So this is a, this is a project to help you with that sort of endeavor. Okay, who am I? I'm actually not um, into geospatial or GIS myself. I'm just a software developer and actually work in the field of uh, cybersecurity. But uh, one day I needed to build a map, uh, a website with a map in it, and I found OpenStreetMap, and I've loved it ever since. Um, yeah, I've been a volunteer with OSM since 2009, and um, I took over Mapping DC, um, an organization in DC. Um, I took over after Kate Chapman moved on. So we are Mapping DC. Um, no corporate sponsorship, just a bunch of volunteer mappers working together to improve the state of OpenStreetMap in the DC area. We've had mapping events uh, for several years. Um, we, we do on the street mapping, like we get together with clipboards and printouts from field papers um, or walking papers way back in the day. Um, and we'd actually like take notes and then go to a cafe or a library and rent, like whip, open up our laptops and uh, learn and teach people how to edit the map. Um, these days, um, much of the, the geometry is already there and we're doing more attributes of the POIs. So these days it's more um, mobile mapping with Street Complete or Go, Go Map or Vespucci. So this, my organization has been using meetup.com for several years, and there is a cost to that. It, it is about $200 every year. That was two years ago. And the prices have been going up. Um, it, it's, it's a mixed blessing. You know, how many people are, are on meetup.com? OK, so you know what it's like. You know that like, you get hundreds of people in your organization. I have about 400 people in my organization, but to any particular event, about 10, eight, eight to 10 people show up. So I wonder if it's really worth the cost. And I'm thinking about a better way to do this. Like, is there a better way to support your local community by using osm.org? Like, build this functionality into osm.org. And so that's, that's what I've been working on. Um, the meetup does, as I said, it does have some good advantages. It'll get your, your events publicized very well. You'll find other GIS people. But when they come to your event, um, they, they didn't really expect to do any work. Like, they're like, you want me to do what? Like, I have to capture all this data? So you're not finding the right people. Um, they don't often return. So I often say, like, these are not the mappers you're looking for. Um, this is the type of person that we're looking for. Uh, this is an edit that I found in the local area just a couple days ago. And uh, Greg Map one is adding residential features such as houses, mobile homes, and garages, et cetera. Um, and I look him up, and he's got over 4,000 edits. This is the type of people who I'd like to support. There are people in your cities already doing tons of mapping. And these are the people who I want to connect with. Uh, build a community around, and support their efforts. <clears throat> so this is what I just said. Sorry. Um, I have this highly scientific survey that I've done. Um, the, peop the, the number of returning people who are just normal mappers are, is much, much greater than if you were uh, from meetup.com. So I've been working on a project called Microcosms. Now, I'll do a little side quest here. I'll tell you a little history. Um, I built Microcosm app as a side project. And I shared it with uh, Andy Allen, who was here at State of the Map US two years ago in Colorado. And I was just ch you know, chit-chatting with him about this, uh, about this app. And he's like, no, no, no. This, is, this has got to go in osm.org. This has got to be like mainline, like proper feature in osm.org. So, I took that and I started like I, I forked 
I forked the project, I created my own branch, and I started adding all the functionality in there. Um, that was pre-pandemic, and now, I'll be honest, like, this whole, this whole project has been on hiatus due to the pandemic. I've got two young kids, and, you know, it's been tough. So uh, I'm, I'm excited to get back into it now, and we're going to get this thing merged into OSM.org. Um, so this is what it looks like. Oh, wait, I had one more thought. Oh, I'll tell, I'll tell you later. So it's a new top-level navigation item called Microcosms. And events, is events there too? Yeah. Good. Events is also there. That's like a little side benefit. Um, microcosms is um, literally, like if you, if you look at the word, it means small world. Cosm being meaning world and micro obviously meaning small. Um, it's to support your local communities. Now, I'm not talking about like the US chapter. I'm talking like city level or lower level. And I'm also thinking about non-geographic areas. So like a microcosm could be a, a group of people who have a, a similar interest in um, supporting the, the pride, like gay pride, or you know, people who support uh, railroad, you know, rails to trails projects, nationwide projects, but specific in interest. Um, this is a screenshot from the OpenStreetMap dev server. Um, I'll go back to it. So there is a, a dev server out there, api.dev.openstreetmap.org, and you can play with this if you'd like. Um, and you know, people have been like using this tool, uh, giving me feedback, s filing bug reports, um, and really like supporting the effort, especially the people in the local chapters uh, chapter of the OSM, OSMF. Um, a typical microcosm would look like this. Again, that there are similarities to the meetup page. Um, here's a better filled in example of my own microcosm. This is a slippy map. Um, on the right side, you have a description of your group. Um, you, I don't have any links that share, but you can have links that share out to your Twitter, your Facebook, your community, your other communities, you know, your Drupal site or whatever. Um, you can join the organization or not. Um, membership in all these organizations, I assume, would be, you know, free to join. Anybody can join. And then a list of events on the left side here. Um, on the right side, a list of all the members. Scrolling down a bit, you can see a list of recent changes in your area of influence. So the real, the real idea here is that there are people who make changes and they check that box that says, I'd like somebody to review. Like I'm a new mapper and I need somebody to review my change. Well, you can, you can see that here, oh, up here. Um, and then I, I intend to link over to OSM Cha here where you can do a proper review of that edit. But the idea is, You've got people in your local area who, who make changes and need a review, and then you've got the other expert mappers in your area, but it's hard to connect the two. So this is uh, bringing like a, a location, bringing those people together. Um, another event uh, support is for diaries. So like we've already got diaries in OpenStreetMap, but like I'd like to know what's going on with my people in my local area. If you go to like the diaries, <laughs> you get a ton like osm.org, you get a ton of diaries. Um, most of them are not even in your, your language. Uh, so the benefit here is like you're going to get to know what's happening in your local area. Uh, here's the link uh, for the dev server. Uh, now, something that I'd like to announce is that, uh, actually it was Martine who said you should get this going, that let, let, let's get a live server going. I'd like, to get, I'd like to start using this. I don't care if it's merged into osm.org or not. Let's get an instance running. So I got that on my own website, mappingdc.org slash microcosms. You could, you could go there now and start supporting your own local communities. You, you may not have one, and you could, find, you, you could be the founder of your local community in your city. Maybe you don't have the time to support it at all, all the time, but um, you'll start to build a, a team of leadership, and then you can share responsibilities, um, and then you know you, you've 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 lit the fire. Like you've got it going in your local community. I, in fact, um, there are three groups who are already using this: Michigan, Utah, and I think Des Moines. 
So there are some next steps. So what's done so far? I had to draw a line in the sand about what's 1.0 and what's going to be 2.0. The, the feature, the merge request into osm.org, it was too big. It was like, it's just really too big. It's too much of an effort. And um, Andy, Andy Allen and uh, Tom, what's Tom's last name? Hughes. Tom Hughes. Um, they said, you got to break it up and make it smaller. So I'm working on that now. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to skip that for now. So here are some future ideas. Um, there's, on that slippy map for your area, what I'd like to do is not just display the map itself, but what activity is happening in your area. What events have happened? What events are coming to happen? Where, you know, where are they? Um, people have change sets that need review. Where are they? Like, I know the Virginia part of the D.C. area better, so I'm going to focus on those, and I'm going to review those change sets. Um, so it's going to be like an activity map. What else do I have here? Um, Ian is here. Ian, I think you, you mentioned badges. I think this is a great idea. Um, badges for people in your community. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I had an idea, like going back to the Foursquare idea, like where there was like, you could become a mayor of an area. You could become like the, the lead expert of the, the five, like five or so blocks around your neighborhood, around your house. Um, adopting a street or and integrating with this new website, community.openstreetmap.org, which was what? Just announced a week ago, two weeks ago, you know? So this could be, whereas OpenStreetMap.org open can organize your events and the activities of your hub, it, for ongoing discussions, you would, you would integrate with communityopenstreetmap.org. Um, other future ideas in terms of quality assurance. I'm a big fan of quality assurance. Um, there are all sorts of the activities that you can integrate with at this local level. Um, you, like for, for DC, we have a project where we got city data of all the bike lane data. Like what streets to have good bike lanes, dedicated bike lanes, shared with, the, shared with the cars. And so we went through that data line by line. It probably should have been a, uh, a map roulette task, I'm sorry. Um, but we, like, it was a good project. It was a side project where we just went through that data uh, feature for feature. And then, of course, integrating with Keepright. Um, there are more future ideas. I'm going to skip this. Um, and thank you. I'm on all these sites. I'm Open Brian. And uh, also tomorrow I'm organizing a talk about community, uh, organizing your local communities like microcosm, uh, mapping DC. Cool. So thank you.